The navigation API in SwiftUI remains cumbersome primarily because it lacks a straightforward and flexible way to manage complex navigation flows, making it challenging to build intuitive user interfaces. This was the one thing on my wish list for WWDC, and unfortunately, it didn't come through. However, don't worry. In this video, I will show you how to fix it with a navigation coordinator. By implementing this approach, you gain greater control over navigation state. Make sure to check out my Swift UI summer sale. More on this later on the video. The link is in the description. Now, today we are uh, going to talk about what I wished I would have had gotten from my WWDC wish list. And that is, it was only one thing that I wanted, and that's more concise, better API for navigation. And unfortunately, we did not get that. Therefore, uh, as a kind of series of my previous videos, I'm going to show you Navigation Coordinator. That is one of my products, uh, and uh, it is included in uh, the CFCY Summer Sale. We are going to talk about it, how it works, uh, why you should definitely take a look at it. But before that, let me just show you the demo of, of uh, what uh, it has. So this is a demo of what of the capabilities what Navigation Coordinator has. Okay, so basically we have three tabs over here. The first one, you can just go and go to the archery and then badminton. And of course we can pop as usual. And we can click on the back button. It will do the same thing, curling. It's just going to uh, slide that sheet up. And then you may just pop to root. And it's just going to pop to root as expected. Also, it supports deep linking. So here, I'm just going to deep link. And then maybe we want to pop the last two. There we go. And just pop all the way back. Uh, we have support for asynchronous uh, uh, coding, like as async await is uh, really supported by this. It's the same way, but it's different in code. Uh, let's just pop to archery. So we can just pop back to a certain view also. And then uh, right over here, we may switch between tabs. I have support also for that, switch to yoga. There we go. Or we can just go also over here and just go all the way up to curling. Uh, uh, well, maybe just dismiss. Dismiss also works and pop also works. And then, you, you know, just to see that we are on different pages and it's just go not going to uh, assume that a one uh, tab view is just the other, is the same as the other one. And then we may go and uh, move data around. So here we have, uh, uh, you know, meditation sessions, session zero, one, two, three, and so forth. And then if I tap on any of those, you can just see that on right over here, I just uh, um, set the text field uh, with session two, let's just go session seven, whatever. And of course we may just uh, move over there. Now, of course this can be done with uh, the standard APIs from Swift UI, but what I have done is taken those standard APIs and more them together for a more streamlined uh, API that you may use. So first of all, what do you have to do? Well, first of all, you have to add navigation coordinator and uh, then create an extension on the destination. So an extension, destination, and you have to uh, make it of type view. And uh, then let me just make this a little bit uh, larger. And then you just set up your destinations, uh, walk, archery, badminton, all of them. It's of type destination, that's it. And then the destination view where you are going to be taken. So walk view, archery view, badminton view, all of them. And optionally, you might add presentation details if you know that that is a sheet. If not, it's just going to present it as a link type of navigation, and this will be ignored, easy as that. And finally, you just want to add the destination view modifier after your actual destination, uh, the view that you are going to go to, because this takes care of you know all of the uh, right, everything to just make this seamless. So this is our setup. As you can see, every destination is in one place. Now, this could be used throughout tabs, throughout navigations, uh, you know, sheets, foolscan covers, uh, all of those. And then just go to your content view and start the route. Now this could be a navigation route, just as simple as that. And you just set up your route. In my case, it just walk. Or you can may set up a tab navigation route with the initial one. It has to be one of the navigation routes. Of course, baseball, where we have it. 
and then all of the others. Uh, because this is the, the more complex version of it, then uh, you can just have that uh, tab navigation route. I'm excited to talk to you about my SwiftUI Summer Sale. For a limited time, you can access everything I've created for SwiftUI, over 20 premium digital products, along with a seat in the live cohort-based SwiftUI camp beginning on July the 1st via Zoom. The total value of this bundle exceeds $3,000, but it's currently available for only $199. Whether you're new to SwiftUI or looking to refine your existing skills, this is a unique opportunity to advance your development journey with confidence. Availability is limited, so I encourage you to secure your spot soon. The link is down in the description. And then you just, uh, let's just take a look at the, the walk. Uh, yeah, uh, not that one, but this one, the walk view. Okay, so uh, what does this do? Let me just uh, go through uh, the simulator. So here we have it. We have an archery. Uh, it is a navigation. So these are custom buttons, you know, but basically the action is what matters here. Just say navigation, you grab the environment of navigation, simple as that, and then you just go push, archery, you know, another view of type link, or, um, and you can just uh, uh, have an on dismiss and then uh, on completed. This is pushed archery, which we basically don't have with the navigation link, a default one, of course. Uh, and then the deep links, you may have it, uh, you know, with completions, as you can see, push the archery, push the badminton, push the curling, and then, you know, deep linking finished. And then whenever we dismiss this badminton view, dismiss badminton will be uh, uh, printed out. And if you wish to, you may use uh, async await. So the same thing, await, navigation, dot push archery, and, and all of that stuff. Let's take a look at the baseball one. Uh, we just go back and yeah, it is the baseball one. Let's see baseball view. Uh, and that is how we switch tabs. So navigation, tab navigation, you know, we had navigation as an environment. Now we also have tab navigation and then just switch to and yoga. Of course, please make sure that it's an actual tab view uh, route. Okay, and then uh, this is the simplest one, basically. Navigation, push, archery of type link. And it's simple as it gets. Now, uh, let me just go over here and then just uh, show you a little bit more. So you may have a link, a sheet, or a full screen cover. It's as simple as that. And also, uh, if you jump to definition, this is the only thing that you basically have to uh, know. We have, uh, of course, the destination, the type, and then an on complete and then on dismiss. So whenever this navigation step completes, you are going to be notified. And also whenever this uh, view that we are presenting is being dismissed, we are going to get notified. Uh, also, this works uh, with uh, async await. Now, of course, um, on complete, it's not really uh, uh, um, useful or available with uh, async await, but on dismiss is. So let me just go away, async await, and then we just have this on dismiss. Of course, without after await, that's on complete, and then you just do whatever you want after uh, uh, that. And basically that's it. Let's just take a look at a few examples right over here. So you can see that uh, we have this push of curling of type sheet and then uh, on complete and on dismiss. Um, we can also pop. Now this is really, really powerful. Yeah, I forgot about pop. Let's just take care of popping. So pop is just going to be the equivalent of uh, dismiss. It's uh, uh, as easy as that. Uh, but we have a lot more. And let's just find the one that's, you know, the last one. Uh, it's, uh, is it the curling view? Mm, yes, it's this one. So dismiss, it's a simple environment of dismiss. This is already available in Swift UI. You just call dismiss and it's the last presented view will be dismissed. The same will go for the pop. It's the same functionality. It just goes through the navigation coordinator. Basically, that's it. Now, you may also pop the last two. Uh, also, this is uh, really uh, uh, flexible and really smart, basically, because if we have uh, only one presented and you say pop last two, the first one, you know, that only one will be popped. 
Also, we may pop to a particular view on the stack, pop to archery. Uh, yeah, make sure that indeed it is you know inside your navigation uh, order, and then you may pop to root. Really nice. And the cool thing about this is that it's just going to pop to root in the fashion that it's really uh, uh, available uh, through. Uh, it was available in UIKit also. Like if you have a, a stack, like just link, 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 and then a sheet. Uh, you just pop the stack. It's not going to go one by one uh, uh, popping it. It's just going to go all the way to the root. Uh, uh, and then basically uh, that's it. So um, yeah, that's how we can pop. And now, as you can see, we can push certain or any type of navigation steps like links, uh, sheets, and full screen covers. We may pop in different ways, pop one, pop a certain amount, pop to a, a certain view or pop to root. Or we can also uh, um, deep link. Now uh, you may add an, as many uh, uh, pages, let's call them pages, as many pages as you like with a deep link. And of course you may switch from one tab view to another. And that is basically Navigation Coordinator in a nutshell. Go ahead and check it out. It is part of the currently selling Swift UI Summer Sale Bundle. So make sure to check that out. It's a great deal. The link is down in the description.